Welcome back to my channel, my Bold and the Beautiful fans. And I got to say, turbulence, people, because, yeah, we had one heck of a Friday cliffhanger. Hopefully, you're having a fabulous TGIF, and we got a lot to unpack. We got to talk about family unity coming together. We also have playtime and fun time being over. It's time for you to stand on business, and the role of Liam Spencer is now being played played by Tanner Novlin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what went down in LA on this January 5th cliffhanger. Okay, so this is not going to be your typical recap. I'm actually going to give my own personal commentary. And first, we're going to start off with this whole conversation between Steffi and her brother Thomas. And I did enjoy this conversation because of the fact that she is supporting her brother over what her husband is actually doing right now. Even Thomas is wondering what the heck is Xander doing in town. Everybody know that it was ruled as an accident. Even Xander knows that it was ruled as an accident. However, he still thinks that Thomas is fully responsible. And at the same time, even though all of this, they fight, you know, just like regular siblings do. I know my two do. At the end of the day, they're always brother and sister. And Steffi has her brother's back. So now we're across the hall in the CEO office where we have Carter, Brooke, and Ridge. They're talking about Eric's recovery. However, it was a weird conversation because Ridge was wondering if he saw Stephanie or Phoebe on the other side and wondered if he wanted to stay over there, but he come back. And maybe because he came back, he wasn't happy. None of that made any sense to me, but whatever, Ridge. At the same time, he should be focused on his dad getting better. Now the conversation switches to Thomas and Hope. And you know Brooke is not feeling this relationship. But Ridge said, look, these two are grown. It's their business. And if they want to do what dope do, let them do what dope do. And it looked like Ridge is giving Thomas and Hope his full support. So now we move over to this whole bit of backstabbing going on when it comes to his wife. None other than Dr. Save a Hope talking to Hope about this accusation from Xander. Now, of course, Hope is like, why are we reopening this? Why are we even talking about this? I know Thomas didn't do it. However, Finn decides that he wants to be the biggest new simp of 2024, call himself gatekeeping Hope, comparing her to his mom, Lee, and how she has all of this virtue, like her mother, Brooke. And I'm like, uh, really, Finn? Anyway, this whole conversation goes back and forth. And he's warning her. And he wants to protect her. Um, I think you should be protecting your own family, Finn. I mean, it has nothing to do with you. And at the same time, your wife told you to drop it. And you had the nerve to still text this girl to bring her over to the office. He's going on and on telling Hope how amazing she is and how she's too good for Thomas. Now, guess who's listening at the door? None other than Thomas Forrester. However, Hope tells Finn that she's not this paragon of virtue that he made her out to be. She's still a woman, and Thomas reminds her of that all the time. And, of course, Finn thinks she's just rebelling against her image, and Liam and Thomas is telling her all she wants to hear. He thinks that she deserves better than that and Thomas is dangerous you need to walk away and of course she took a breath well now Hope has made it back to Forrester she's looking for Thomas to have this conversation however when she runs into Steffi Teffy tells her that Xander is back in town and she was like yeah I know it Steffi was like well how did you know that uh your husband told me he told you? Yeah, he texted me to come over to the office and tell me about Xander's accusation. And the one thing when a woman says, ah, interesting, you know that she is pissed and she's going to let Finn have it when she sees him. However, what was also interesting is the fact that Steffi is like, look, I support my brother. If you go support my brother, he needs somebody that's going to stand 10 toes down with him and stand on business. He needs to know that you're all in, or if not, 
you need to cut them loose. And I know she put a fork in that road for hope. I'm wondering which direction she's going to take. Is she going to stand side by side? Because she did get that flashback in her mind where Thomas is saying that you're the only woman for me and you, you know the rest. So the thing is, I'm curious. She might just stand by Thomas in this whole thing. The other thing in this situation that Finn does not realize by going on this whole accusation tour is that this could be a PR nightmare for Hope for the Future. Why? Because Thomas is the lead designer for her fashion line that he was raving about and how she's this great business owner. Go ahead and do what you do, Finn. You can end up tanking Hope's business. Hope's not the designer. She's the face of the line. Thomas is the designer. So if you lob a grenade with this whole accusation tour, guess what? You're lobbing a grenade into her fashion line. Now we're finally back in Finn's office, and this is where the rubber meets the road between these two brother-in-laws, where Thomas enters after Hope leaves. He said that he admit that he overheard the conversation. Finn was like, I don't appreciate you lurking. Uh, you was lurking. Remember, Finn, when you were listening at the door with brother and sister and you actually ran on the two of them arguing, trying to defend Steffi's honor. She was talking to her little, her big brother. Anyway, Thomas tells him that he's a lucky person and how somehow Hope forgave him and he would treat her like the jewel that she is. He and Finn are family. He wants them to get along. He assures him that Hope's heart is safe with him. Now, he knows that he hurt people in the past, but he was a hurt person in the past. He's healed since then, and he don't want no trouble. He asked, don't make trouble between us. Don't put yourself between me and Hope. You understand that? He turns around, Mr. Dr. Save a Hope, and says that it sounds like a threat who refuses to believe he's new and improved. Thomas thinks that they should just support each other. Finn doesn't think his brother-in-law mistakes are blunders. He is unstable, and this is where an antagonization of Thomas by Finn is happening as if he was trying to trigger him, calling him unstable. He needs to stay away from Hope just because the case was closed again against him doesn't mean that he's not guilty. Thomas urges him to not mess with him and his family. Finn says that, you know what, you might have all of them fooled, but not me. I see right through you. You're a bad person. Hope is too good for you. And as long as I live and breathe, you will never be with hope. He made that vow. And of course, Thomas' eyes is narrowing at him. Listen, they are about to lob a grenade in sin. First of all, Steffi is going to let Finn have it with this whole thing of texting hope behind her back when she told him to drop it. The other thing is, and I know Thomas is going to tell Steffi about this conversation about Finn gatekeeping hope and vowing as long as he live and breathe that he will never be with hope that's not going to sit well of course with his wife Steffi because she's going to be like why are you so overly involved with hope and trying to protect her man Finn looked like the reincarnate a Brooke and Liam combined. And I know a lot of you guys are saying that maybe Liam was the one that sent Xander over there. I don't know if I actually agree with that. Why? Because of the fact that Xander was freaked out when he saw that picture of Steffi and Finn and anything forced or related. Of course, he would be freaked out if he ran into Liam as well, because Liam was also at the center of this drama as being Beth's father. So I don't think he had any idea of any of that he was going to run into Finn and Finn being married to Steffi. I honestly think they dropped this guy in the middle of the storyline just to lob a grenade and, you know, create the friction for future drama. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And as I said in the beginning of this particular video, turbulence people. Okay, so there you have it. So down in the comment section, I got a question for you guys. Let me know if you think that Steffi is going to have her say with her husband Finn. 
What do you think about Hope? Will she stand on business being 10 toes down with Thomas since now fun and games are over with? This could be a PR nightmare for her, her line. Is she going to stand with Thomas or is she going to walk away? And then what about Finn gatekeeping Hope for protection? And this thing about vowing to never have Thomas actually be with Hope. Let me know your thoughts. So if you haven't already checked out the Young and the Restless episode for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.